So welcome back, and this is a SQL problem today. So essentially, you're just given two tables here, the customer and the product. You just want to find out the customers who bought all the products, okay? And so the only real catch here, and I don't think they really show you in this example, is, okay, you're given two products here, and it doesn't show you here, but you can have a case where a particular person buys the same product twice. And so in this case, you can see customer three here buys five and six. So we output them because they bought both products here. But what if um, customer ID three bought the product six twice here? When you're counting like all the products they bought, you wanna make sure that you're only counting like the distinct ones. So that you make sure that, okay, like I've accounted for this case. Other than that, I think it's pretty straightforward. Like that's the only kind of uh, tricky edge case that you have to consider. And so essentially all that you want to do is we're going to want to output the customer ID here. And this is coming from our customer table. And we're going to group by that particular customer, if I can spell it out right. And so we're essentially just slicing on this uh, customer ID here and we're grouping them together so that then they're associated like uh, product keys are kind of just grouped in and I always think of it as an array like this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to compare the kind of size of this list or the number of product keys that we've sliced this uh, customer ID on with the size of this product table. But once again, the only trick here is that we only want to consider the distinct uh, product keys uh, within this group by. And so we can just do that in the having clause. And we want to say, okay, having a count. And we're just considering the distinct product keys within this customer table. And so we just want to make sure that's equal to, and just the, a subquery here, where we're just selecting the count of basically this entire product table, since we know they're all going to be uh, distinct. Okay, so let's go ahead and run that and accepted. And success. So yeah, that's um, today's SQL problem. So I hope it helped and um, good luck with the rest of your studies. Thanks for watching.